Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about this North Face jacket that I'm wearing. It's called the Rain On Jacket. And honestly, this is my first North Face jacket. I'm not even going to cat. Like, this is my first North Face jacket. I decided to get this because I've had my eye on it for a while. I've always kind of had a thing for it. I saw it when it came in and I was kind of like, oh, this is nice. Like, is it is it what I really need, you know? So... I gave a few months to a year to think about if I really wanted to like actually um, buy it or not. It's very stylish. It's an entry level technical and it doesn't look like a technical jacket. The reason why I picked this up is because I was looking mainly for like a waterproof jacket but like cropped. So let me explain like being that it's completely like waterproof. It has this technology in it called dry vent. And dry vent is basically um, your entry level waterproofing um, technology. So it protects you against the rain and the wind. I didn't want to get like a Evolve or a Quest or a Sango just because they look a bit plain and it's boring, quite a little bit longer. So the rain on jacket is sort of like my kind of style, my kind of vibe. I like tech, but I don't want the tech look does that make sense i really wear this with like you know like a hoodie um if you haven't seen my victoria secret sherpa collection um i wear that jumper and then like i wear the jacket on top just because on its own on its own the sherpa is not waterproof so let's say if it starts raining or it's even extremely cold um i would probably need a jacket so this is the jacket that I'll kind of go for because before I bought this jacket I was rocking with like a, a denim a distressed denim jacket and although like that was pretty cool over time it just wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it because that denim jacket didn't have a hood either so I mean me I like to wear hoodies because my neck just be getting cold so I just like something to just be at the back of my neck when I was looking um, for like a jacket I wasn't looking for anything that's just warm I want something that's gonna be waterproof as well so yeah the rain on was probably like a good idea for that um, they do have other colors as well it comes in a uh, a beige and white is it beige and white or white and beige i don't know but i'll put a picture on screen i have questions on my phone so i'm gonna just run through those questions as first question how much is it how much are you looking to pay for this kind of jacket the price is 160 what's the sizes that it goes up to it runs from a extra small all the way to a double xl um, currently on the website the extra small and a double XL is sold out so only small medium large and extra large is available currently um, in store I believe we still have maybe like some sizes left um, maybe like I said small to extra large but it may vary so when you pop into store and you see me say hi I'm gonna uh, be happy to help are there any alternatives who this is a sticky one because when you talk about alternatives you're talking about either a cheaper price or something that's very similar but maybe loses some sort of technical aspect or loses a bit of quality so i mean i haven't really seen anything that matches this in terms of it being like completely waterproof um that's not like uh, at a higher price um anything at a lower price if i'm being honest it's not waterproof it's more water repellent or water resistant um and yes there's a major difference between waterproof and water resistant but we'll go in depth with that in another video so if you want to know about that subscribe and um comment down below if you're interested in that but yeah sidetracked um next question next question is um what's its lifespan i mean honestly north face if you're gonna buy a jacket from north face if you treat it well five years minimum especially like jackets like driven uh future light with those technologies in them preferably i would say like 
whether it be a quest, a sangro, a rainon, or like anything that's very similar to those, I'll pop like pictures on the screen so that you can like sort of see what I'm kind of talking about because there's a there's a type of category for these jackets. Um, again, it's another video <laughs> because there's so much detail in in these technologies and these fabrics and all sorts. So um, yeah, but I mean those types of these types of jacket are very. Um, adaptable and they they last a long time because i've had customers come into store and be like i've had this jacket for like five ten years or 12 years and only now it's like ripping but like ripping because of wear and tear like they've worn this every single day like type of thing and so i've even looked at the jacket and i'm like it's not even that bad though like smack a little nick wax spray on there throw that in the washing machine with the tech wash and it, it will be revitalized. Honestly, like these jackets, they last a very long time. So the lifespan I can say for my jacket right now, currently, cause I've only had it for maybe like a few weeks and literally like it's it's been very good. Um, I wore it the other day with um, my Sherpa collection um, from Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I was quite warm that day. Like I felt like I was just wearing like a duvet with just some like waterproof and shield it didn't rain that day so and it hasn't rained since i bought it so i don't know um how how it's gonna hold up when it comes to the rain but again if i need to do a follow-up video i will um so yeah i don't know how the youtube editing on the studio bit works but i feel like some people have added like a clip at the end of like a pre-recorded video or recorded video i don't know how it works but i'm a i'm gonna try and see what what i can do because if that if that works and i'm probably gonna add a little clip in here and tell you about the waterproofing but if not it'll be in another video so subscribe same question how many times can i use it before replacing it like uh, quite quite a while a few years i could say a few years and was it worth it yeah definitely for sure because I can now wear this every single day like i ever since i bought it i've worn it like every single day pretty much every single day i've worn it even if i don't didn't need to even if i didn't need to wear it i still had it in my like in my bag just just in case so and it's easy nice and easy to like fold and put away um so it doesn't take up too much space is it true to size yes it's true to size it's true to size usually like i've tried like some north face jackets before and honestly like some of them are not like true to size. I would even have to size up. But I tried the small and the medium, and yeah, they fit. They fit all right. They fit fit cool. I ended up just getting the small, um, just because the medium was a bit too. There was a bit more space, and like I didn't, I just didn't need that. So I tried it on with a hoodie, and I tried it on with a like a thicker jumper as well, and it fit just fine. Uh, I was able to zip it up, put the hood on. And it was all good when would it restock uh restocks for the extra small and the double extra large um for now i'm not even too sure because i've been tracking even though i bought the jacket already i've been tracking the extra small and the two xls or just the sizes in general see if they're going to bring out any other color so i've just been on that page really um but for the last like two two three weeks they haven't restocked um extra small or 2xl but the other sizes um they've restocked so uh, i guess they say they restock quite frequently every maybe like every two weeks they uh restock so yeah but again if you don't want to order it online just walk into the store and just try it on and uh work out <laughs> work it out then we got some in stock at the moment we got some black ones um double check on the size but i think it's like medium medium smalls um might have one extra small so uh yeah grab it before it's too late sign up to the explorer pass um you can get not only do you get black friday deals you get a two-year warranty on your products as well so any manufacturing issues like the stitching comes loose or the zipper breaks you can get a replacement completely free so um that's good and it's free to sign up so i'll drop the link down down below and if you sign up on your next purchase you get 10 percent off if you are a student you actually get 10 percent off uh, all year round it's excluded all discounts are excluded from um uh, 
on nupsies. The question for that, just in case I'm trying to do chapters here, the question for that was, are there any discounts? So, are there any discounts, special offers, sales, that kind of stuff? Is it waterproof? Again, um, I haven't worn it. Want, has, uh, it hasn't rained since I bought it, so I can't really say for sure. But I, I can, I can understand and hope to believe that it is. And um, yeah, because I've had I've had customers buy this jacket before, and they said they haven't complained yet. So I feel like it might do. But again, might just insert a clip, let you guys know when when it starts to rain. Hopefully, it doesn't rain because he likes the rain. I don't. Know. Um, is it warm? Obviously, like I gotta make this clear because a lot of people, a lot of people question and be like, oh, this jacket is not warm, or is this jacket warm because it's puffier or it's not puffier this jacket is puffier than this one or like why is this one 700 but it's so flat and this one is 700 and it's so puffy quick 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 quickly 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 because i feel like i want to do this in another video um because it's it's so important it's so important but real quick it's it you know what you know what i'm gonna leave that one there for for another video subscribe if you wanna if you wanna know about that so yeah <laughs> for it's for somebody who likes the fashion aspect but definitely wants to stay warm during the winter um stay protected against the elements so that like if it's raining snowing windy um but you don't want to layer up so much you just want to wear like a hoodie and then you just want to throw on a jacket and go so i would recommend this for anybody who's on the go traveling to and from work and like you know just 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 normal urban explorer you know so whatever you do in your day-to-day -day life it will be great for that even if you're gonna go on a ride with a belly and no, i'm just let me stop let me stop this is for your day-to-day -day, everyday use so anybody who's just an urban explorer to be honest is it worth buying and would you would i buy it again i'm buying it again because i want the vintage white <laughs> or i actually want the vintage white so i'm gonna get the vintage white um Obviously, when I get some more money, but right now I'm I'm cool with the black. I'm cool with the black, so it's all right. That's the rain on jacket. Um, I like it. I like it personally. It's it's interesting, and it protects me against the elements. That's really what I wanted it for to protect me against the elements. So yeah. With that being said, um, that's the rain on jacket, and that's my my personal thoughts on the rain on jacket. I really do like this jacket, and I can't wait to actually get it in the vintage white. Um, because I have things to style it with, and so I'll be excited to do that. Um, I can also wear it with a lot of things, um, especially the black one. The black one now currently I can wear it with pretty much anything. Um, I also want to get. I just said this. Want to get the vintage white so i can pair it with more stuff and then just have those two jackets as like my everyday go-to jacket where whenever however type of thing my favorite thing though my favorite thing about this jacket is that you can adjust it the fact that you can just like adjust it just makes it all that much better for extra details you got like some some buttons here too like these are like the popper the popper buttons yeah you got like the popper buttons which is convenient when you don't have time really to um we don't really have time to do up the zip but for whatever reason i don't know why you wouldn't want to do up the zip but i don't know um and also like also like here too also like here you have the like drawstring for the hood um it comes comes quite nice comes quite nicely like that with the drawstrings um to to yeah to adjust the hood or whatever how however you like it also got the embroidered north face logo it's embroidered logo i recently started like investing in products that are 
stitched and embroidered just because they last a lot longer than like printed um i've had printed stuff in the past and like they just start peeling away although i have like a heat press i can just like you know put like put it back but it's it's inconvenient for me to be honest it's just real inconvenient also just like some smaller details as well like the the velcro the velcro um the adjustable velcro uh wrist straps um to adjust your the tightness on the wrist um that is that's quite nice too so you got that just there yeah, just like the small details of this um, of this jacket just makes it all that much nicer. And just again, like I said earlier about uh, it being dry vent. Dry vent is pretty much your uh, entry level to waterproofing, but it's still it's still at a high quality. So yeah, that's been my take on the rain, the North Face rain on jacket. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, here's some videos on um, like some other products that I've been talking about. Um, so yeah, check them out um, and click my face in the middle here to subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you're ever interested in like knowing a bit more about any other products, um, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay fit and healthy. And yeah, peace.